Okay, guys, so an interesting build. I thought the camera was still up there. I was like, ooh, all over the spot. Right. Anyway, interesting build. This is so strong. I will, yeah, basically, I don't even get hit barely. And even if I do, things just die fucking like two seconds later. But it's more or less the Thunder God sort of build where you're only using three lightning spells plus your uh, winged beast uh, and other bits and bobs. But the armor I'm using is uh, basically just decreasing the uh, the spell costs, you know, too, too heavy and five light, so it's all the seducer, and I basically put the, the health on these two and magic on these. The staff I use is one with shock damage, with it's a lightning staff, uh, well that's a restoration obviously, and this one is a lightning staff with the weapon and spell crit values up by 4%. Uh, the armor is just yeah, reduce spell cost, reduce spell cost, reduce spell cost, yeah. You know anyway so uh, moving on to the actual spells you use where the hell's my spells yet all it is a shattering prison blockade of storms uh, lightning flood major's wrath and your wing twilight matriarch your ultimate is the energy overload very important and on the second one your ultimate is the charge action arch all right this is so strong. Basically, you keep them in place. You blast that. They do not move. You blast your blockade of storms because the, the storms is a lot better for DPS than the fire is. Plus, the crit's better. Uh, lightning flood is a lot is a huge area with a lot of damage. And obviously, Major's Wrath can basically just kill shit off. As you can see, if a, if, if a target falls below 20% health in 4 seconds, yeah, they basically just get an extra 316 shock damage. So huge. Plus the twilight's always blasting at them as well, and you can use energy overload, right? Watch how efficient this build is, right? Obviously, um, where I am, they're just level 32s, which is unfortunate because I just come into this dungeon. But we're just gonna have a blast, and I'll show you how it works. I'll find fight some people uh, that aren't. Obviously, the second build uh, is just the the normal uh, illustrious healing, rapid regen, combat prayer. Unstable clan fit and the twilight matriarch, but because you are basically a lightning guard, you've got your charged action arch, and you've got your lightning uh, ultimate. So obviously this is just a quick one. As you can see, his health will just drop. You know, it's only a two second job, and it doesn't matter if that was three people there. You'll see in a sec. I wish this person wasn't here so I can just show you on my own. Uh, but as you can see. Wherever, oh, that didn't even get him. Yeah, ah, I want you to piss off. Oh, there's two people here. Give me a sec, let me find where there's not people. Yeah, I'll, I'll quickly fight these before them guys behind me catch up. So, got them, all that is, blasting that. And you can just see everyone dies. There you go. So, I mean, I, it took me just below health at uh, half with my magic. Uh, watch this again get them with that because that when that explodes oh, I've done that and why has he got so much health there we go the twilight matriarch kills it and I think that guy helped as well mm, it's pretty frustrating other people being around I'm trying to show you the damage but you can see how easy that works you don't need you don't need to waste your slot for a shield that lightning shield because you do so much output damage so that just saves a bit of hassle. Uh, so let me see if we can find some more people to kill, uh, just to show you, uh, to, just the, the the normal way to just cast it and use it. Okay, so if you're curious about the passes, uh, which I may have forgot to cover, but I didn't think it was too uh, big a deal. Of course, you just want all the passes to so the light armor. That should all go without saying. It's just reduce spell cast, increase your magic recovery. Uh, Increased spell, spell resistance, and this is a better one for crits. Uh, and obviously, when you get consecration, and of course, your racial if you're high elf anyway, this is just better, more damage with the shock. Uh, increased magicka by 7% so far, and magic recovery in combat 9%. I can hear people fighting, but of course, this will be amazing when I get this and if in one more level. Basically, this cost of my spells will be reduced by 5% which is the tits, so after two it would be 10%, which is extremely good, so yeah. Right, but I'm gonna show you a bit more now. I'll show you 
the energy overload, uh, so you can see uh, how powerful that is. So, or usually with this, I can just freeze people in place. Uh, where is it? As you can see, that my actual uh, shit down at the bottom. Uh, oh, there's a storm action arch there. So I can freeze him. I know he's too powerful to be frozen, but he can still be blasted to death. I thought there is pl there's loads of us here, so it's a very bad example. Usually you can just freeze them in place if they're not too powerful and just blast them to death with the actual uh, stone. So which way am I meant to go here? I don't think it really matters. Right, so let's have a look. So these can't be frozen in place, but they can still be shocked to death. As you can see, it's all, it's all about just spamming the exact same things. And they don't, they don't survive. Nothing survives, and you hardly get hurt because you're wearing a lot of armor. You got a lot of shit going on. So as you can see, just drops, drops, drops. Everything drops. Can you help me kill them? He's, he's wish some guy's whispering to me. Uh, someone wants a bit of help, so we're just gonna kill this thing. And this guy should be dead. Yeah. I don't, I don't even get any fucking bonuses. But yeah, that's it for the build, guys. I hope you see it's very efficient. It's very easy to survive. Uh, there's a lot of survivability because you just cast that shards uh, shit uh, to not die. Oh, good. Right, anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, look forward to a level, actually a proper build later on. Well, uh, this is the proper build, but there will be one, I think a level 50 build is the next time I'll do one for Sorcerer. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Ah, yeah, one last thing. Uh, the reason why you have the healing matriarch uh, for the Daedric, uh, the reason you have that is because he heals you so much more than you think. Um, when I'm below 35%, he'll chuck on about between 7 to 10 heals of 100 to 125 healing. So the, he does heal you for about 1,000 HP. And it's, that's nuts. So yeah, and it's pretty fast ticks. It's like two every second or something like that. So that's why I have the healing one because you're trying to do so much output damage. So if someone does cheekily shoot you strong, you're not really worrying because that guy will heal you for a lot. All right, and that's it.